going on YouTubers? It's your boy, The Beagle. Uh, I hear running the store quick, so I figure I'd make a video. Uh, a buddy of mine today, we were talking about wrestlers and, you know, how they don't really get the respect as deserving that they deserve, you know, by being athletes. People look down on them and say, you know, oh, well, it's fake and it's, you know, it's all this other crap. You know, first of all, you gotta look at it this way. Wrestlers do something, they're like any other athlete, like any, any other professional baseball player, basketball player, you know, hockey player, etc., etc., whereas they do something that not everybody can do. Wrestling is very athletic. It is a very talented sport that you need to, you need to be good at more than just, you know, just the physicality part. Um, there's a great, great quote by Mick Foley. Wrestling isn't, isn't fake. It's scripted. They do get hurt. They do punish their bodies. You know. Um, so, uh, that's something I've always held true when I defend you know, being a wrestling fan. That's the first thing I bring up. Uh, because wrestlers have died in the ring do, doing this stuff, you know. So, you know, to see it. Biggest thing to look at is, like, a big guy. Kevin Owens. You know, I really didn't like him too much when I first saw him on NXT and I started watching him. You realize that he's a big guy and he has a pretty good sized gut on him like me. And I couldn't even do a tenth of what that man could do in the ring. He would literally run circles around. You know, it, he has strength, speed, and he has athleticism. And the, the three main things anybody needs to be a wrestler. On top of that, you know, they, it's, it's a performance art. You know, it's, make, it's taking something that you know is not real and then making you believe, well, you know, maybe. Uh, you know, like you know, promo talking. You know, everybody talks about how The Rock is such a great actor and how he was or once the highest paid actor in Hollywood. Do you know where he got those skills from? Because it wasn't some acting class. It was wrestling. Wrestling developed his, he developed his attitude, his persona, if you will. He developed, you know, the sense to talk in front of a crowd and to deliver his performance with words and with, you know, conviction to where you believed every word he was saying. It's kind of like going to a movie. Yeah, okay, Jurassic World just came out. I haven't seen it yet. I'm looking forward to seeing it. You go to the movie, you know, knowing it's a movie, knowing they're just actors and actresses that are not really getting hurt. The dinosaurs, you know, aren't, aren't real. They're CGI, for the most part. But you still, you get swept up in the, in the movie. And you get really sucked into the story. And, you know, you feel for characters like, you know, if someone dies in the movie, and you're really attached to that character, you can become emotional. I know I have, and if you say you have it on some level, on some movie, you know you're lying. So, I like to look at wrestling as like a live-action movie with no CGI, and all the performers do their own stunts. When they actually get hurt, they get hurt. Sometimes, yes, they do get hurt. Kayfabe, you know, fake injury, because they go out to a movie or go to a TV show or something, but that's just an easy way for the writers to get them off TV for a while. But back to my original premise of this little video I'm doing. If anybody thinks that they can do, you know, the wrestling on athletic and anybody can do it, you know, take about a hundred bucks or whatever it is. Go down to your local uh, wrestling school. Everyone should have one close. And try it for a day. And I guarantee after the whole day is said and done, you'll change have a different perspective about wrestling. Been about wrestlers in general. And how athletic you have to be to do this. I know I couldn't do it. Even, you know, at my age, I still can do it. Even if I was in shape, I still, my age, I couldn't do it. So before you knock something and before you make it hard on somebody for doing something they're loving, they're passionate about, think about how much work they put into it. So that's a, a little mini rant. I will probably do a follow up video where I can go more in depth to why I think wrestlers get a bad rap and give you more examples of people. First of all, if you haven't, subscribe to the Baby Network or even search for it on YouTube. You can find it on here somewhere. If you want to see how good and exhilarating the story and the story can be told during a match, one of my most recent favorite matches is Al uh, Alistair Black versus, versus the Velveteen Dream. And the whole story and the whole buildup was Velveteen Dream wanted Alistair to say his name, and Alistair refused. 
Now, here's a little bit of a spoiler. At the end of the match, after, after working his ass off in that match, Velveteen got Aleister Black to say his name. So, to enjoy the 15 minutes of fame, the Velveteen Dream. Now, that had emotional highs and lows. It was a very, you know, very athletic match. Very in-tuned match. It was seamless. It was one of my, you know, one of my favorite matches of all time. So, just do me a favor before you, you know, want to talk about wrestlers and how they're not athletes and stuff. Take a look at that match for me. Uh, like I said, I will be doing a more in-depth video. Out on the flip side, how we as wrestling fans, we can't be fans of wrestling anymore without being ridiculed or made fun of or persecuted, you know, verbally by just random people or people we know. Uh, so I will be doing that video, and I'll probably upload it on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, other than that, all sports take incredible athletes to do them. That's why only select few can do them. So, hopefully that changed your mind. Hopefully I got you, you know, to check out a part of your match and maybe watch wrestling yourself. Give it a shot. If you haven't ever seen a wrestling match, give it a look. You'll, I guarantee you'll change your mind. Until then, this is the Beagle saying, see you next time.